And with that boom, Matthew Fitzpatrick, the defending champion, really sets off the RBC Heritage presented by Boeing Week here on Hilton Head Island. I'm Bob Stevens, along with Robin Zimmerman. We'll bring you this special edition of the WHHI Daily News. Uh, it's a day, opening day, that began very early in the morning, and Robin has that story. Thanks, Bob. We're here at the 28th annual FCA Heritage Breakfast with hundreds of community members as we celebrate our faith and look forward to the golf tournament this week. Russell Henley is with us now. As you know, he is a PGA professional champion. He will be playing in the Heritage this week. And he spoke um, about his, his, his golf game. He also talked about his faith journey. He talked about his family. Um, and I was really touched about your wife and what a, what a um, wonderful um, partner she has been through your journey. So are you excited about the week? Are you a little nervous? You said you're kind of an emotional person. Yeah. Where are you? I'm excited about the week. This is one of my favorite tournaments every year. Um, it's just usually great weather. The golf course is very unique. It's a lot different than what we normally play. And I always have my whole family here, so it's, it's a blessing. Now, you being from Georgia and playing in the Masters and now coming to Harbor Town, mm -hmm. what, what, how does that, what's the, kind of what's the difference there? Yeah, it's definitely more relaxed down here than the Masters. <laughs> so you come down here, it's a little more like a vacation feel, and uh, it's, a, it's a breath of fresh air. And you want to just share very quickly how faith has made a difference in your life? Yeah. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I definitely was not walking with the Lord. And the Lord saved me when I was um, on my second or third year on the PGA Tour and just showed me His goodness and showed me kind of through my successes that um, I'm empty without Him. So it's, it's been uh, a slow a slow growth, you know, and, and mm -hmm. definitely just trying to put myself in situations where I can learn more about Him and, and be involved with, in the community with other believers. Well, so nice to meet you, my honor, and good luck this week. Is that what you say to golfers, good luck? In the theater, we say break a leg, but I, I wouldn't say it. I'll take some good luck. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Russell Henley. Jeep Patrick gave his testimony this morning. He is a senior at Hilton Head Prep. He's going to Presbyterian College with a golf scholarship. That's you did a beautiful job. Thank you. Why was it important for you to share your faith this morning? I would say because... FCA has had such a big impact on my journey and you know I go twice a week during school and I don't think that I'd be where I am today without it. So what are your plans um, in college? I know you'll, you've got the scholarship so in your plans beyond yes, that is to be on the tour? That's the goal yes ma'am. It's a very it's very hard to get on the tour obviously but you know, I, I think I can do it and next year in college I'm gonna stay as bounded in my faith as I can, try and find FCA and the college golf fellowship that they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. What did you learn from Russell Henley today? His comments were, I thought, very profound and yes. important. So any anything, takeaways? I think that he talked about his wife a lot and how she really helped him ground in his faith. And I think that it kind of taught me that to look for people any, anybody that could really like help you stay grounded in your faith. And have the same values. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Well, yes, congratulations to thank you. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Stephen Bunn is with us now. He's with the College Golf Fellowship. So you want to share with our viewers really what that is and how it ties into FCA? Yeah, I would love to. So College Golf Fellowship is an organization that um, came into being in 1980 out of the PGA Tour Bible study. Uh, the guys on the uh, on the tour wanted to reach out to college golfers, and so they began a, um, a ministry to kind of do outreach at college golf tournaments, right. and it's just kind of evolved over the years. There used to be just two of us, and now we've got about 30 staff around the country who work alongside college golf teams and coaches. And then from that, uh, because of our relationships with the tour players, about 14, 15 years ago, uh, they invited me and another one of my colleagues to come out, and we full-time serve them uh, out here on the PGA Tour. Your interview with Russell Henley today was outstanding. What takeaway, what, what really stood out in that interview, would you say? It was, it was wonderful. Yeah, well, the thing for me is that uh, Russell Henley, who I've known since he played college golf at Georgia, uh, I've just watched a transformation take place in his life. And there's nothing unique about Russell, per se, other than he's really gifted in golf. Uh, yeah. but, but we all have gifts and talents, you know, and some are just different. And his is golf. 
but he tried to find so much meaning in life using the vehicle of golf. Only in, in his rookie year, he won twice, only to find out that it left him empty. Right. And it was then that he began to uh, find a relationship with, the, with his creator uh, that he be began to find satisfaction and contentment in life regardless of his circumstances. It was very powerful, thank you. So absolutely, okay. thanks. Anthony Bynum, a senior at Hillhead High School, just won the Sir John Scott Memorial Award Scholarship. You'll be going yes. to the California yes. Institute of, Techn uh, yes. of Technology. Yes. That's fantastic. Thank so you. They, they were saying that you had to put this full packet together. And what, what did that include to receive this nomination and then award? Yeah, so it included a short essay and then yeah. my transcript, of course, what I, my plans are for the future, and then. Um, yeah, that's about it, actually, yeah. And your your faith journey, you've been involved with FCA? Yes, yes. that was included in my essay right. when I wrote it. How, how has FCA made a difference in your life? Um, I think it was similar to um, the golfer that I was speaking today. It was a slow process, but FCA has definitely changed my um, my faith and my walk with Christ a lot. Um, it's helped propel me in that way, and it's been very supporting. Really, I've had a lot of people to fall back on through FCA, so yeah. Very good. Well, congratulations thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and coming up after the break, Bob Stevens will join us from the Heritage at Harbortown.